See this going on here? Hey, Adam here, the Roof Strategist. I help salespeople and sales teams just like you reach peak performance, have fun doing it, and smash their income goals. And I wanted to bring up a few tips here on when you're doing big projects one because as you see, they're rolling off a dumpster here. We've got some tape down here and it kind of ends, but the install is going all up here. They've got just a little bit roped off down here. And then on this far side, we've got people walking around with material stacked right there. I've talked about this before, especially when it comes to the marketing battle pack um, and the material for getting churches and commercial properties and things like that. When you sell these big jobs, there's nothing more important than safety. Safety and coordination and communication because homeowner, excuse me, property owners, specifically commercial property owners, they need to know that the people that are hanging out are safe. And right now at this church, um, you know, we see a lot of people here and this is a problem area. We've also got all the parking. And what happens is if some nails come down from the roof, someone gets a flat tire, debris falls, someone gets hurt. Now everybody's getting sued and it's not good for anybody. And believe me, I had this happen um, on a commercial project where, I'll, I'll, so do you see this church right there? I'm gonna zoom in, okay? They got tape in front of the door. Well, let me ask you this. Should someone even be able to get that close? No. This should be taped way, I mean, here it is, but not everywhere. Should be taped further back. I had a homeowner, we had our ladder set up. They walked underneath the and hits her head. She cuts her eye open. I don't know how you walk into a ladder, but she was elderly. She ended up literally six months later after I got on the phone with her, threatening to sue us because she needed money. She outright said, Adam, I'm trying to move out from this area. It was a rental property and um, I can't afford to break my lease. And I talked to an attorney and he told me that I could sue you, the property um, and the crew. And all I want is for you to pay my uh, cancellation fee on my apartment. She literally blackmailed us. So why am I, I'm sharing this story with you to help you avoid these headaches. And I wanna give you a few tips. Tip, communicate to the properties that you're working with that you're gonna stage and keep everybody safe, okay? Um, this isn't enough, in my opinion, at all. Especially considering, I mean, look at this, guys. I'm, the roof material is up there and you've got people standing right beneath it, okay? Luckily, the crew is um, taking a break right now. But you gotta stage these things. Two, you need to be on site at all times. Why? Because on the other side, if we hear, major, major highway. This is, this is serious exposure on this commercial lot. I don't see a yard sign. I don't see one representative of the company. And I see a whole lot of safety issues, which can bankrupt a company in a hurry. This is an opportunity for you to get incredible exposure and, and to all of the people who might be happen to be here, who might happen to need a new roof at some point. So be on site and use your time in that vehicle because I'm sitting, you know, I'm in my van here. I could be set up getting work done while the construction project is going on. So keep the crew safe. Use these big jobs as an opportunity. And remember how important it is to showcase your differentiator when you sell these big jobs. So property owners know, commercial property owners know, church um, folks know that you are going to be there to keep everybody safe and to have the, the lowest impact possible on the uh, community and in the area. So next time that you approach a commercial sale, have this in your back pocket. You know, you've seen these big projects going on. I know what it's going to take to keep everybody safe, um, to minimize the impact on the business and to reduce your liability. And when you can talk business to them and relate to what's important to them, you're gonna win deals. Stay on site, use that time in your vehicle if you need to, you know, bring your laptop, tether your phone, get it done. You will make more sales from it and you'll get a tremendous amount of exposure from your company. Anyway, that's all for this one. This was an unplanned video thanks to driving by this church, seeing this project going on and putting this video together to help you make more sales. So listen, if you liked this video, I encourage you to continue joining me. Watch the playlist that I'm gonna put right here, okay? And what you'll see on that playlist is how to approach commercial uh, commercial projects because they're different than residential. Same sales process, same sales cycle, but what's important to a commercial building or a church is very different, all right? Second thing, if you haven't done it, you need to check out the Marketing Battle Pack and your complete sales strategy. There's links to both of those products in this description below, okay? And when you pop in there, you're gonna find information to help you target jobs just like this. I have material in there specific for churches, okay? Emails, direct mail letters, and 
uh, cold call script for commercial and, and maybe you're not chasing church projects, which a lot of people do, you'll find info in there to help you land commercial deals as well. So jump into that playlist, learn how to approach these commercial deals, check out the products in the link in the descriptions. And if you haven't done it, grab a free copy of my Pitch Like a Pro Roofing Sales Training Video Library at theroofstrategist.com. That's all for now. We'll see you in the video next.